Well, hello everyone. It is early in the morning, uh, 6.39 actually, here on <coughs> Sunday, July 19th. <coughs> I don't even have my blinds open yet because there's not enough sun to really help. I put my light up there. You can see it in my eyes, right? My creepy eyes? Yeah. I don't know if it's really doing any good. But anyway, uh, what I thought I would do today, since I have a few hours before anything opens on Animal Crossing, I might as well do something, and I figured I could do, uh, watch the Ouija shark right here. Um, this is something that I, uh, <clears throat> I set the modular for, so I saw the ticket, or I saw the, the price tag for it, and it was like three weeks before we even got it in. Um, I think it's one of those things where we said it we had on hands, but we didn't actually have any in the store. Um, <laughs> so they had to order, you know, <clears throat> put some on order to actually get them in. Um, so I was waiting for this movie for a little while, and my friend Tanya, uh, says that she's actually heard of this movie. Um, I, it says it's f from the studio, I'm sorry. Not necessarily the same people, or the same person, director, writer, whatever, that did Velocipaster, and the director of Jurassic Shark. Um, I have heard of Velocipaster, and I intend to watch it. Um, I think my friend Tanya did a video, did a, did a movie review of that at some point. Um, and if I can find that, I'll put it below, uh, link that below for you. Um, I have not unfortunately seen it. Um, I intend to. Uh, as insane and fun as the title suggests, Wicked Horrors. Maybe you love precisely this kind of cheese. We all do sometimes. Bloody disgusting. A group of teenage girls summon an ancient man-eating shark after messing with the spirit board that washes up on the beach, an occult specialist must enter the shark's realm to rid this world of the deadly spirit ghost once and for all. Um, looks like it has some amazing special effects here on the back. Let me get the actual light so maybe you can actually see it, maybe, with its glaringness. Um, it might need to be charged. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, um, you're going to need a bigger board. Not a bigger boat, but a bigger board. Um, <clears throat> I have watched some crappy movies over my time. Uh, some of them, I, I kind of have this outlook of the older um, cheesy movies are better. Because, like, the newer ones, like, they're trying to be stupid on purpose. And that kind of, in a way, that kind of bugs me. Like, the old movies that turned out to be stupid, um, like, they seem a little bit more genuine, you know? Like, with these kind of movies, they're trying to be ridiculous, so sometimes uh, I think I judge them unfairly. Um, and just not, you know, it's kind of like, you know, just watch it, have fun, whatever. Um, so I've, I haven't seen any of the uh, the uh, Sharknado movies. Um, I did buy the, the Funko Pop, though, because it looked pretty cool. Um, so yeah, but this one, it was just like, I, I saw the title Ouija Shark, and I'm like, that has to be exactly what I think it is. <laughs> Here it is, finally. Uh, it is exactly what I think it is. And uh, this seems like a, a good, wholesome family Christian movie to watch on a Sunday morning. So that is what I am going to do, and then I am going to let y'all know um, here after I watch the movie and eat my pizza what I think of it. So I'll be back here in just a minute, and it should be a little bit brighter, probably, maybe. Well, I have watched the Ouija shark. They said it both ways in the film, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to be Ouija shark, not Ouija shark. I don't know. Um, I don't know how much to say without giving away too many spoilers. Um, so I'll try to get it not as spoilery as possible. I don't know if that's proper English, but that's what we're going with apparently this morning. Um, you get what you expect, I guess, with it. Um, it's, 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 um, it is ridiculous. It is, it has definitely, um, a giant, you can't really tell it here, I, um, but I guess if you've seen Velocipaster, because the, the trailer for Velocipaster was at the beginning of this, um, that looks like it's, um, kind of just like this giant, like, Maybe a paper mache puppet? I don't really know. Um, <laughs> I don't know that they've put like this this golden... And I, I, I tried to give... Um, because, you know, I don't feel like the budget was very... 
was very big for this, um, and they might have spent it with all the special effects um, for later. Um, here we go. Like, I just feel like I'm being too spoilery. Um, but, um, I'm trying to roll it back in, roll it back in. Um, so yeah, there is that. Um, I kind of feel like the first half of the movie almost takes itself a little too seriously because, I mean, you know what you're, you know, I mean, they, they know what they were going for with this, um, Ouija shark, you know, and it even says, they even use those, those quotes on the back about, you know, the movie being cheesy and whatever. And, you know, I think that one of my favorite, um, ridiculous horror movies, uh, and one of my favorite movies of all time actually is, uh, Dead in Breakfast. If you've never seen that, that's more zombies, uh, and no sharks, but it to it's one of those movies I've seen that's been able to toe the line very well between, uh, being somewhat ridiculous but also kind of like scary and serious and entertaining and all that kind of things all at the same time. Um, it's, I mean, it's definitely a lower budget film, though they have like a lot of people in that, like, um, Diedrich Bader, I think that's, I think is his name. Um, um, oh, fuck. The guy who plays Kill Bill. Um, the, the Kung Fu, Legend of the Kung Fu guy. Um, oh, fuck. I mean, he's in it. Um, and, like, um, uh, Portia de Rossi is in it, but she's very short, very short role. Um, actually, Kendra from Buffy, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, is on there. She's one of the main characters. Um, some people that I've seen uh, maybe, like, do some things since, so, you know. So, I mean, I mean, maybe at the time the cast didn't cost that much, but... Um, David something? Oh, God. It's, I don't know. It's gone. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that was a, that was a, that was a movie that I ended up, I, I went into it thinking it was a horror movie and it is a horror movie, but it's also like one of those ridiculous horror movies. That's also funny at the same time. And some like the first half of this movie, um, they get to some of that later in the film, but they, I guess they have a lot to set up. Um, I mean, I guess it is kind of ridiculous trying to, spoiler alert, um, <laughs> trying to, uh, asking a, asking a ghost shark if it wants a, a hit of your joint. Um, spoilers are done. You can come back now. You can come back. The spoilers are done. We're done. Um, <laughs> So, I mean, there, there are kind of ridiculous moments. I, I feel like there was a lot of some jokes in here that didn't necessarily land as well as they could have or should have or whatever. Um, I, I think I'm just going to have to, I'm, I'm not going to give like spoiler spoilers, but um, I feel like the strongest part of the movie was toward the end, like, um, when there, there's two characters that meet up later, um, and that's when some of the ridiculous kind of things happen, um, the, the more ridiculous, ridiculous kind of things happen, uh, so some of the better jokes are at the end of the film, um, some, some of the better, like, you know, tongue-in-cheek kind of cheesy kind of things that they say or do or whatever, um, like, you know, that's when they, um, I, I, there's spoilers, but, um, they, you know, fight it like on the astral plane or whatever. Um, but it's very short and then it's over. And that's kind of like the, the, the thing that, um, I don't know if this is spoilery or not, but the, the shark was like there for most of the film, um, well, I think, I think, I think they finally start messing with the, the Ouija board about 20 minutes into it. Um, and then like, it's there, but it's like, and you know, they, they did have a low budget and I try to, if they'd had more money, they might've had some better, some better scenes. Um, but it's just kind of like the shark that like they show somebody running and then like the shark is like behind them with this like little twisty background. Uh, sometimes they like, you see a person running and then like the shark will like pop up at the bottom or whatever. There's, there's two different scenes 
where like the shark like actually like interacts with like the and then the actor and the thing so sometimes i feel like the the shark is not present enough um because then it's just kind of and there like if you're going into it for blood and guts and gore um i can't really say that there's a whole lot of that because um like the shark will chomp somebody and then they'll just like disappear it's like it's like there there'd be like this clap of thunder and then they're just gone you know or the screen goes blank um there there's a few scenes there's like you know a bloody hand here and there or like a blood splatter here or there but it's not as as over the top you know speaking of kill bill i mean you know that was more over the top with its blood and gore with the chopping the arms and the whatnot um than this one was um so yeah i i guess that's my main like it's i mean i went into it expecting it to be fun hello minxie and <laughs> say hello to minxie everyone um what are your thoughts she didn't watch the whole thing don't trust her don't trust her opinion um <laughs> whoa did you take offense to that i don't know um i i i didn't i i tried to like not expect and like i said i understand the low budget like if they make a second one of these i would watch the continued story of the ouija shark um but i i hope that the second film would be maybe they have a bigger budget and they can I mean, you can keep the paper mache puppet shark that's fine but have it like maybe interact with people a little bit more um, kind of thing, not just, like, chase them from behind or whatever, and then, like, maybe, maybe have some, like, you know, it chops somebody's head off instead of just, you know, thunderclap, disappear, fade to black, whatever it is that you do. Um, you know, so hopefully if there's a Ouija Shark 2, um, there's a bigger budget for it, um, and make the whole film more like the last... 20-ish minutes or so like when those two characters meet up at the cabin like because that's where I feel like the strongest that that's more what I wanted from the film um in its ridiculousness is like those cheesy one-liners and the well and I mean there's some of them throughout but they don't they don't work as well um so like maybe the two characters at the end of the film like they should be, if there's a Ouija Shark 2, maybe those should be your two main characters in the next one. Um, because I think they had a good dynamic. I like them together. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, just, just make it, just, um, go, go a step further, I guess. Um, cause yeah, the, the first, the first, most of the movie, it was like, it was, it was almost taking itself too seriously. And I'm like, I didn't really necessarily come here for that, you know? <laughs> like, I expected this to kind of be, you know, like, ridiculous from head to toe. Um, and, you know, there are moments sprinkled throughout, but I think the, I think the, 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 um, the strength of the movie is in, uh, unfortunately, like, the last bits of it, um, you know? Um, I'm not, I'm not sure about the music in this movie. I, I know I looked at it, but sometimes, uh, well, not toward the end of the film, but definitely at the beginning, uh, I felt like, uh, the more important animal in this film was goat because that was one, <laughs> that was one of the, uh, the bands who did music for this, for this, uh, and the, the, one of the main characters is actually even wearing a goat t-shirt, um, throughout the entire film. Um, I'm, um, I was gonna say, I'm not sure exactly how long this is supposed to be, because there's obviously, like, a day, because they wake up, and, like, there's supposed to be coffee, and they're wanting brekkie, brekkie, breakfast, uh, the one character is wanting, um, so there's, there's a day that happens, so, I don't know, like, <laughs> like, how much time was supposed to be, uh, it might be from one day to the next, I don't know, um, but yeah, in the, in the beginning of the movie, there were like, there was a couple of long scenes of like walking through the forest and while music played and uh, a long car wash scene that had nothing to do. That, that might be why that character disappeared for a little while. She how and she went next to, with the boy next door 
um, <laughs> I guess, I don't know, um, because she didn't show back up until the next day, um, but anyway, uh, so that might be explaining why she disappeared for a bit, I don't know, um, <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, there, there's a couple, and I mean, maybe Goat doesn't do the, wasn't the music that was in these scenes, but it was kind of like, I don't understand why we're seeing these long scenes of, like, nothing. Except for, I mean, it's supposed to be a bad film. Like I said, I try to keep that in mind, that, you know, it's supposed to be a bad film, so I guess if there's, like, long scenes of nothing, it's just kind of, you know, par for the course, I suppose. Um, so all in all, I feel like the end was more what I was wanting from the film, personally, myself. Um, you may go into this and just say, like, oh, okay, that's fine or whatever. Um, but I, I guess, the, like, the whole ridiculousness and, like, the, you know, the cheesier one-liners that were better um, were toward the end of the film, unfortunately. Uh, so if there's, like I said, if there's a Ouija Shark 2, like, hopefully, once again, there's a bigger budget and maybe we can see, see a few more, see a few more dramatic uh, kill scenes in it, um, with maybe some more blood and guts, um, and, uh, yeah, a little bit more like the end of the film with those two characters that, you know, I feel like did really well. Um, but anyway, that's kind of my thoughts on the whole process thing. Um, and Mingxi doesn't feel like giving her opinion, I suppose. But anyway, so that is The Ouija Shark. I have watched it, and uh, I at least partially enjoyed it. And like I said, if, if there is a second one, <laughs> spoilers, but there might be plans for a second one. Um, there very obviously is plans for a second one. Um, spoilers are done. Spoilers are done. Um, <laughs> Every horror movie does that kind of thing, you know. Um, most movies do that kind of thing. Anyway, you know, if it makes money, you're going to make more money off of it, you know, whatever, um, if you can. But, uh, so if there is a Ouija Shark 2, I will, I will check it out. I'll be sure to check it out. And uh, actually, there's a part of me that kind of hopes with, with the, with the upgrades, I guess, as we might call them, as I might call them, I don't know. Um... I think it could be an even a, a much a better film than the Ouija Shark one, you know. Um, so, we'll see. Who knows? When did this movie actually come out? Does it tell me? 2020. It was 2020 from Wide Eye. Wide Eye. So, it may be a little bit before we get... Uh, we'll have to see how the Ouija Shark one goes. But, uh, anyway. I'm, 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 I'm on board for a Ouija Shark 2. Um, no matter what. If it comes along, I will check it out. So, um, there was enough there that, like, it gave me, I guess, what I was wanting, you know, from it. Um, even though, you know, I went into it trying not to expect too much. <laughs> you know, uh, just kind of a fun, you know, <clears throat> whatever movie to kill an hour and a half with. So, um... But anyway, that is the Ouija Shark. Ouija? Ouija Shark? I'm not totally sure <clears throat> which way to actually say it. They actually reference the Ouija movie. I'm like, oh yeah, I've seen that movie. They say that a couple times. I'm like, oh yeah, I watched that movie. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to go play my Animal Crossing now, probably, because it's, what, 8 o'clock? Hell, I don't even know. Uh, but anyway, I will see you for what I see you.